Hey team, I'm Dave, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to break down what it means to become a carded boxer and the process for you if you want to become a carded boxer too. So let's jump into the video. So whether you are looking at getting into the amateur game or you're in the amateur game and you keep hearing this, this term, this definition, carded boxer. I'm going to break down what that actually means and how you can become a carded boxer too. So if you'd watched the, uh, the quick promo, you saw that I flashed up one of these. This is a medical card, hence the carded boxer term. So actually these are called BCR1 medical cards. Now you get one of these when you are ready to spar. Now there are two types of boxers that will come into a gym. There's your recreational boxer and there's your competing boxer. Don't get me wrong, both boxers will need insurance, especially if they're gonna go onto the contact stuff. So a recreational boxer may come into the club for a little bit of fitness and then may wanna try out some contact work to try out some of the skills that they've learned in their boxing fitness and their boxing technical classes to try and man a real life situation. Great, they move on to sparring. They need to be insured. So to do that, they will have a medical, they will get a recreational form filled out and then this will uh, insure them for contact drills in the club. So, so sparring, conditioned and open sparring, it will, it will insure them for that. Um, but what it will not ensure them for is going to other clubs sparring and it will not ensure them for competing. That's when you become a competing boxer. So you have a recreational boxer we've just touched on. Now, a competing boxer. A competing boxer is obviously going to go into competition. So they need to become a carded boxer. With all contact drills, you need to be of the age of 10 or over. So let's say you've entered a club, you've built up enough fitness and enough technical skills to now move on to the sparring. At this point, you need to become a carded boxer, in this case, with England Boxing. So the process in doing that is, I'd like to say fairly simple. The first thing you need to do is to, or your club will do for you, is book your medical. In that medical, they will go over a few of the vitals, they'll ask you some questions, and they'll make sure that you are fit to box. Once you've got that signature and that thumbs up from the doctor that you are fit to box, you can then register with England Boxing once you've done that, you've sent your card off, they've signed it, they've sent it back, you are now a carded boxer for your England Boxing Club. This means you are able to do your sparring drills in-house, you're able to do sparring at other clubs, and you are able to compete against other clubs and in championships and box cups and all that other good stuff. These cards will stay with you. They track your record. Um, they will list any suspensions. If you've been injured in a bout and you're on a suspension, they will track that. So they are your medical cards. And that is where the, the terminology comes from being a carded boxer. Guys, that was a real quick video. It's just another question I get asked a lot. What does carded boxer mean? So I thought, you know what, rather than answer individually, I'll put this video together. Feel free to share it with whoever might need to watch it. And I will be back very soon with another YouTube video based on frequently asked questions. 